I think, uh, unfortunately, that violence uh, was what I knew first. Uh, the, the knowing about World War II and 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 was uh, was uh, and what national socialism in Germany in all over Europe did. Uh, uh, and so my idea of non-violence was very strong because I was like many children, I think, shocked by what I knew the first time about that huge, huge terror and violence, uh, what uh, was uh, the, the effect of, of this uh, um, ideology of, uh, of national yeah. socialism. Yeah. So memory is important, but more important is the knowledge about what happened and history. So memory comes after. And so my whole, what I do always is trying to explain, uh, trying to explain <laughs> and, uh, and to let young people know what happened uh, during World War II. And then yes, memory and uh, try to tell people and not only young people, adults as well, uh, that uh, how it was said, that if you don't remember what happened, you are obliged uh, to live it, uh, live it another time. And it was incredible view of them to say, we want a gemelage, a partnership between our town, our city of Prato, where the most of the victims for political reasons, deportees came from, and the place where we were deported and where we suffered and where many, most of us died. <laughs> it was really incredible that they had this uh, need to, to get in touch with people there, uh, obviously always on the basis of truth. And now since 1987, there exists really a, a, a twinship, a partnership between these two places. And we were, and now I know that maybe that was the first time in Europe that uh, something like this happened. The, 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 no, uh, on the background was the horror of Second World, World War II, of the concentration camp, but people said, we want a better future. We want a dialogue, we want speak. We want uh, friendship be between um, countries, between, uh, and I think it was a very good idea. And we, and we call it partnership of peace, the partnership of peace. It's a, exactly the name of this Prato Ebensee partnership. And after hours, I think, came others in Tuscany, uh, in Italy and in Europe as well. Others with the same background. The, <laughs> the fascism was uh, invented in, in Italy uh, and we had a, a dictatorship in Italy and we were allied to, uh, to Hitler's Germany, um, but we had a strong resistance as well and many, many anti-fascists and many victims Concentration camps were not only it were places of murder and death, but it's not only gas chambers, not only crematoriums. Uh, concentration camps were places of slave labor, and it's very important. But it was not only uh, racism, hatred, and destroying people. It was uh, as well. Uh, um, you had to uh, let them work for for very <laughs> for utility for for the ec economy of of uh, Nazi Germany, uh, and so the the objects we have in our museum are objects uh, uh, which um, which tell us about the slave labor in concentration camp. Very important in the museum, we have uh, um, uh, a presentation, a video presentation with um, interviews with survivors. 
Uh, and so uh, you see the object, but you hear the voices uh, of the survivors and what, what they said about their being in the concentration camp. Sometimes I tell to, to the people coming to the museum, uh, when I see them, uh, sometimes they, they cry when they hear the stories of the victims of National Socialism. And I, it, and I suffer for them for 14, 15 years old uh, boys and girls. And then I feel bad that I, sh I, I tell him that uh, the human being is a murderer, always was, human being. <laughs> and it's for me terrible to have to tell them this. But then I say to them, we, we tell you all this, not to make you hate the life, but to love it more. But not only your own life, it is normal that you love your own life. You have to love the life of everyone, of every woman, every man, of her children, all over the world. This is the way. Uh, and I tell you about these horrible things only for that, for make you love the life. 